Well, engine compartment of a 1969 uh, Plymouth Roadrunner. Uh, this thing is a, really a neat vehicle. I have to go over it with you and uh, show you some of the amenities on this guy. Uh, correct air cleaner uh, for the 383 for 69. It has the original equipment style valve pan covers on them with the PCV valve in the rear the way it should be, the 69 style uh, vent cap on the front. Has the original equipment uh, cast iron exhaust manifolds on it. Has power steering, dual stage master cylinder, does not have power brakes. Does have the original uh, beep beep horn that's still intact. It has an upgraded aluminum radiator. If you wanted to, it does have the shape of the uh, original 24-inch uh, type Mopar radiator. So you could theoretically paint this thing uh, flat black or semi-flat black, and it would look as an original uh, radiator. At this point, the customer chose to leave it natural aluminum. Uh, it does also have a uh, billet uh, radiator overflow reservoir that goes the entire uh, height of this uh, radiator. So you do have a reservoir bottle here as, as opposed to something just dripping on the ground from this uh, overflow tube. Um, nice addition to this car. Also, instead of a conventional fan, they've chose to put two high-flow electric fans that are thermostatically controlled on this vehicle so that you have no overheating issues whatsoever. The um, engine is a correct motor for this car. It has, uh, you can see everything's been done freshly. Motor's been out of this vehicle. Everything's freshly painted on it. Uh, new water pump on it. It does have the original cast iron uh, intake manifold on it, a Carter carburetor. Um, as I stated, the original cast iron uh, exhaust manifolds on it, the original Presto light distributor. Does have a set of aftermarket silicone um, plug wires on it. Vacuum advance is still uh, hooked up. New battery. The radiator core support in this vehicle is the original one. It still has its original serial number in uh, the core support, so you know this has never been replaced. It also has the original Mopar fender tag on it that also coincides with the serial number in the dash, which hasn't been replaced or messed with in any way either. Um, great engine compartment. It's painted uh, uh, orange the way the uh, rest of the vehicle is, the way it should be. The um, heater hoses are still hooked up for the passenger compartment the way they should be. So is the wiper uh, washer bottle, everything, and the hoses are still intact on them. It has the correct style uh, loop that holds the hoses up off of the uh, uh, manifolds or off the engine, uh, still on the uh, inner fender panel. Everything under this uh, hood is as it was in 1969 when it left the factory except the addition of this upgraded uh, cooling system, of course, that they have. And even it retains a lot of originality. If you painted it, like I said, semi-flat black, you'd never know without really examining it that it wasn't the original radiator that came in this car. It's a really good representation of a uh, Roadrunner in 1969. They rated them at 335 horsepower, which is way underrated for these vehicles. They produced a lot more than that. It was a definite overachiever. That's why these cars sold as well as they did 68, 69, and 70. Uh, you couldn't, Chrysler couldn't make enough of them in 68 and 69 to keep up with the demand. And this is just a, one of the vehicles that's kind of a survivor. Uh, it hasn't been hammered anywhere. All these serial numbers are still intact in the vehicle. Uh, it's a nice original car, original uh, uh, engine and transmission also in this vehicle. So we'll go around the rest of it and see what we can show you on the outside of it. Hi, uh, you're at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida, and uh, one of everybody's favorite, and we can't seem to find enough of them. Kevin tries, and, and we try to find every one that we can that's in exemplary condition, and it's very, very difficult to, to do. Um, 68, 69, 70 Roadrunners, and, and these cars are just, they're just iconic in the muscle car world, and everyone wants them, and it's really, really difficult to find them. This one's kind of special, so I'll point out a bunch of little things on it, uh, especially at the end. Uh, but this guy's the real deal. Here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, so we're going to go over it with you and show you everything we can find on it. Okay, it is correct uh, orange paint that came on this car. Uh, Chrysler called this performance hood treatment. Um, a lot of guys called it racing stripes, but uh, Mopar designated it as performance hood treatment. It does have the optional uh, turn signal indicators mounted up on the fender. That was part of the light package that they offered. Um, 
gap on the hood to the fender is just as nice as you'd ever want to find. It's uh, about an eighth of an inch. You can see it transitions around over the front. And the same thing on this side. Just a nice fitment as you can possibly hope for. Also where it goes up to the collar area, you can see that that's not distorted or it's not uh, out of line either. That is right where it should be. Uh, this particular vehicle has the correct um, reddish, like faded red uh, paint in the uh, hood scoop area. Plymouth designation on the front the way it's supposed to be. The headlight basils have the argent paint on them, uh, just the way they were when they left the factory. The same with the grill area. Uh, of course, that's your opener. Uh, same thing with the headlights on this side there. The, the basils are just as nice as you'd ever want to find. The grill, and most of these grills are chipped up or marked up or kind of deteriorated through the years. This one is not. It is absolutely as it was when it left the factory. Uh, black of trim around it, just the way it's supposed to be, and it's all nice and intact. The filler panel between the uh, uh, grill and the bumper is just as nice as you'd ever want to find. And the front bumper fitment is, that's right on the money. You're not going to get one much better than that. That's as sweet a bumper as you'd ever want to find. Chrome on the top of it is really nice. There's no uh, scuffs or marks on it from uh, um, anything through the uh, years. No dents on the front of it. No uh, marks from stones being kicked up by other vehicles. Of course, 69 Roadrunner designation on the front. The uh, parking lights are nice and clear and amber just the way they should be. Um, I, there's not a single thing on the front end of this car. You can see it. Just went over it. The paint's just really, really nice on the car. Uh, <laughs> I can't tell you a single uh, thing that's out of place on the front end of this car. Not a single thing. Let's go down the driver's side. Maybe we can find something there for you. All right, driver's side of our 69 Plymouth Roadrunner. Um, Side marker light, nice and flush as can possibly be. Really a great car. Tin. And you can see the cowl to the hood, to the fender, to the door. Really nice fit. It's the same as this. Really as nice as can possibly be. Stainless steel rocker panel molding. Correct wiper arms. Incorrect blades. They're an Anco blade, an upgraded blade. Um, we have original equipment ones. They don't work quite as well as the newer design, but either way, you know, we can flip them out. The original VIN tag on the original dash transitions down to the windshield with the correct six-sided rivets on it, and the uh, VIN number is still nice and legible just the way it should be as it is on the VIN tag underneath the uh, uh, hood and the uh, uh, radiator core support. Windshield is tinted in the front, sunshade on the top. The roof is just, well, again, the roof, you know, it, there's no marks or anything. The paint on this thing is, it's better than driver quality, but not quite show quality. It, it's uh, a little better than would have come on this car had it been released in 69 with this paint on it. Roadrunner designation, just the way it should be. Original mirror. A little bit of fade on the uh, chrome, but you certainly wouldn't uh, replace it. Um, wing area, no patina whatsoever, pitting whatsoever on the um, <coughs> uh, wing trim. Uh, trim around the uh, front windshield, no dinges whatsoever, absolutely none. Zip. Drip rail, really nice. Trim around the tops of the doors. Whiskers, wipes, absolutely in excellent condition. You can see the way the window fitment is on this vehicle. <coughs> Tinted glass on the side of it also. And the back by the looks of it also. So this guy does have tinted glass. Original door handles, a couple little tiny, you'll never see them in the video, but kind of a little tiny bit of pitting that you have to really look at an angle to see. They are the original handles on this vehicle. Again, paint on the doors. Door fitment to quarter panel, you can see that's just as nice as you'd ever want to find. All tin. Quarter panel on this car is really nice, very nice and straight. 
Doesn't appear that it's ever been disrupted in any way. Side marker lamp in the back. Again, as nice as you'd ever want to hope to find. Sail panel. There's no marks or anything on it. Um, trim around the back light. No marks or dinghies whatsoever. Hat shelf. Looks like the day it left the factory, and it is the correct style hat shelf that would have come in this car. Uh, there's no fade on the top of the seats or anything. It, it, it's a really great looking uh, uh, side of this car. Kelsey Hayes wheels, um, 15 inch. Iconic wheel for a Mopar, uh, for any car actually, but uh, Mopar is the guy that, that uh, originated these wheels on a car. Fantastic with the correct style centers on them. Uh, BFG radial TA tires, white letter. Rocker panel molding is nice and straight. When you look down the sides of this car, it's just as nice and laser straight as you ever want to find. The door alignment to the fender to the quarter panel is just spot on. It cannot possibly be fit any better than it is. You got a great color combination. Kelsey wheels, 15 inch. Don't get much better than that. Let's go out back and see what you find for you there. Okay, back end of our 69 Roadrunner. And just like the hood, you can see, look at this. Look at the fit into this deck. We are really looking out lately. Let me tell you, every car that we've gotten for the last, I don't know how many, have been really spot on. A lot of them, uh, earlier I had to point out, you know, we had to adjust this hood or adjust this deck or adjust this door. I haven't had that for the last half dozen cars, I think, that we went over. Every one has been right on the money. Our little Roadrunner guy with his helmet there getting ready to do some racing. Um, again, the finish on this car is really, really nice. It's not... 100 point show quality paint, but it definitely way above uh, a uh, driver quality finish on this vehicle. Very, very nice. The chrome around your uh, tail lights, a nice clean tail light assemblies, just as nice as you'd ever want to find. Check this one out. Same thing here. No issues. The uh, argent uh, trim around the uh, chrome the way it should be, or inset in the chrome. Rear bumper. And that guy is spot on also. You could not find it any better. Again, the chrome on the top of this bumper. There's no marks or scuffs or, or anything on it. The correct style exhaust tips for uh, 69 uh, Mopar uh, coming out the back just as they should. And the fitment is just almost perfect for what it's supposed to be. Back bumper, uh, backup lights just the way they are. Nice and clean and clear. Uh, no marks on the bumper whatsoever. No one's bumped into anything. Or there's no chips on it or, or any marks whatsoever. The chrome on the car, the fitment, uh, everything on this car so far. We just did the hood. We did driver's side. We're on the back end of it now. And I can't see anything on this car that uh, wouldn't keep me from writing a check for it. This thing is as nice a uh, Roadrunner uh, as you could possibly ever hope to find in the greatest color combination, too. One more side. Let's see what we find for you there. Okay, passenger side, last side of our 69 Roadrunner. Starting at the back, obviously. <clears throat> side marker light, flush mount, just the way it should be. Tin. No Bondo, nice sharp edges everywhere. Quarter panel in this car is just the way it was on the other side. There's absolutely no dents or deviations or marks. Nothing whatsoever. Absolutely none. Trim around the back light. No marks at all. And again, no marks on the back window. There's no, no places that you can see that this car's been repaired anywhere. Absolutely nowhere. Um, again, the roof. roof. How are you going to hurt a roof? Um, drip rail, absolutely flawless. The whole way, wing area the same way. Again, you can see the way the windows fit. The front window to the back window. Just as nice as can possibly be. We try to do these videos with the windows up now, so that you can see the way the uh, uh, the windows do fit. You can stand here with a garden hose and not get any water anywhere. Trim around the back. Usually these guys are all deteriorated with age. These are not that side or this side. They're just as nice, fresh chrome as you'd ever want to have. Quarter panel to the uh, door. And again, the rocker panel is just as nice as you'd ever want to find. Original door handles, not redone, original. There's a little tiny bit of wear in the chrome. Certainly nothing that would designate uh, or dictate you to uh, replace that door handle, but just as nice as you ever want to find originality-wise. The trim across the top of this uh, door the same way, just as nice as can be. There's one little tiny dinghy here. Uh, again, nothing that you'll even see. I'm pointing it out, but 
It's not, not anything to fix. Trim around the front window on this side. Really nice, really nice condition. Again, paint on the door. There's no marks, no chips, no dingies whatsoever. Road runner with the correct uh, uh, bird decal on it. Again, look at this. Look. I mean, I don't know how you can fit anything any better than that. Chrysler Pentastar where it's supposed to be. Bottom of the right hand fender. Front marker light. Turn signal indicator. Uh, you just went around this entire vehicle. You watched me do it. Uh, I didn't find any chips or marks or scuffs or deviations. And again, the fitment of the doors, the trunk, the hood, everything cannot possibly be any better than it is. There's no way that you could possibly fit this car any nicer than it is. It does have a set of Kelsey 15 inches on it. Uh, BFG white letter tires to help accentuate this uh, car. Um, this orangish uh, red paint, I believe it's called Tor Red. It's not Hemi Orange, it's Tor Red. Hemi Orange or Vitamin C Orange is a little uh, more faded than this. My dad had the same color on a Cuda in uh, 1970. Fantastic uh, car with the correct serial numbers everywhere. On the radiator core support, on the fender tag, on the dashboard, quarter panel. We do have a build sheet for this. It is the correct engine that came with this car with the matching number transmission. So everything on this car matches and you do have a build sheet for documentation for this particular car. I believe it to be all original panels on the car. Uh, the car runs and drives as you see it here. It's, it's just an exemplary um, 69 Plymouth Roadrunner in one of the best color combinations that you could ever hope for. Uh, the best wheel and tire combinations in the greatest color that anyone could ever hope for. Um, with a high option car, it has buckets, console, light package, tinted glass, power steering, you got it all. It's all here. I just went over it, tried to pick out every little defect that I could find, which were very, very few. And a um, couple engine upgrades. Uh, the cooling system has been upgraded from the conventional uh, uh, radiator and the uh, fan with the shroud. This guy now has uh, uh, two electric fans on an aluminum radiator with a thermostatically controlled system on it uh, and an overflow bottle on it. Um, everything's fresh in the motor. Uh, the car presents itself as the nicest 69 Roadrunner available today, and it's here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. Jump on a bird, come down, take a look at this, and drive it. Okay, we're in our 1969 numbers correct with documentation Plymouth Roadrunner. Uh, very, very high option car. This thing has a lot of amenities to it, uh, a lot of add ons from the factory. Um, fender mounted turn signals, part of the light package. It has a console, it has buckets. Uh, it has a tachometer, um, headrests, seat belts in the rear, seat belts in the front, uh, headliner just as nice and tight and taut as could possibly be, original style, uh, sun visors on the vehicle, a little tiny bit of fade in this mirror on the very top of it, I don't know why, but there is, but it, uh, uh, it's, it's the uh, original mirror that came with the car. You see the door panels are just as nice as you'd ever want to have, uh, both sides and in the rear also. And they have uh, uh, armrests in the rear of this vehicle with trash trays on them also. It has um, a perfect hat rack in the back, rear shelf, however you want to designate it. The uh, interior lights do work in this. You can see the dome light works and the console lights for entry work on each side, left and right. And again, seat belts in the front. Um, Three-speed wipers, beep beep horn, all the uh, uh, door handles, your uh, window cranks, everything are just as nice and fresh and chrome as you could possibly ever hope to find. Uh, the console, uh, there's the chrome on it is just the way it was when it was new. Of course, the shifter on the console, the uh, glove compartment in the console, and you also have one on the dashboard also. So you got a dash, you got. A lot of storage space in, in, in this guy. Uh, the gauge cluster itself is nice and clean and clear, as is the tachometer, the, the 
uh, dashboard where it transitions on to the base of the windshield. Uh, very, very nice and clear padded dash itself. There's no cracks or marks or distortions whatsoever on it. Wheel type Mopar radio, uh, the way they came from the factory is an option. Uh, this thing is as nice interior wise as you could ever hope. The seats have been apparently redone. Uh, nice new padding in them, new uh, springs because there's no sag whatsoever to them. Uh, loop pile carpeting just the way it should be and a set of uh, beep beep road runner floor mats uh, front and rear. Front has our bird on it and the back says beep beep. Uh, road runner designation on the front of the uh, dashboard the way it should be. Uh, this car is inside as it was outside. Just there's not a single thing that you can point out and, and find a negative on. Absolutely none. Your door jams are nice and clean and clear just the way they should be. Uh, looks like the car is a brand new 1969 Roadrunner. I can't really differentiate this from a new one. This is just the way this car, if you picked it up in 1969 from a Plymouth dealer, this is what you would get. Uh, everything is correct on this car. Um, it's the finest example of one of these that you could ever find. You need to get on your Hangster's website and take a look at this. Demo's going to have about 85, 90 still photos, and I know we're going to have at least a half an hour uh, presentation of the uh, exterior, undercarriage, uh, engine compartment, interior, which we've just done, of this vehicle. So we should give you all the information that you need uh, to take a look at this uh, take a look at this vehicle. Even the, the map light works in this vehicle. Uh, it's a fine example of a 69 Roadrunner. You need to really take a look at this Hangster's Daytona Beach. We are in our 69 Plymouth Roadrunner. Really nice car. All numbers correct. Everything is really sweet on this guy. Really nice car. I like the color combination, everything about it. Let's see what works and what doesn't and how it runs. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep, horn. Definitely got to have that. Um, alternator is functioning. The gas gauge is working. We got a little over, I'm going to put this thing in park, a little over a uh, quarter of a tank. Temperature is coming up. And guess what? Tachometer is working too. No chance in the world the radio working though, but we'll try anyway. Nope. Got to put one in the glove compartment. Wipers. Wipers function as they should. Nice wipers. Let's do uh, left turn signal. Left turn signal is not indicating in the dashboard. Right turn signal is indicating in the dash. Doesn't necessarily mean it's not working outside. It just means I think that that light is burned out, which we have to address. Uh, let me set this rear view mirror so I can see the police coming up behind me. Um, nice car. Let's go for a ride, see how this guy runs. Okay. Car goes down the road straight as an arrow, no hands on the wheel. The guy behind me, I'd like to try my brakes, but. Straight as an arrow. Let's try brakes in the hands. Good shape. <clears throat> nice sound of road runner. It's got a real nice uh, rumble to it with the uh, Flowmaster exhaust on it. It's not objectionably loud, but it has a nice deep throated sound to it, you know. It goes straight as an arrow. Speedometer works as it should. You can see all the gauges are up and operational. The tack, the uh, uh, alternators charging, gasoline where it's supposed to be, PP porn, everything in the car works except for our little indicator bulb uh, left turn signal. I'm sure it's working on the outside because I can see the uh, gauge fluctuating, but it's not indicating in here, so we have to replace that bulb. Roll here. Nice strong running road runner. Very, very strong, nice crisp shifts just the way they should be. Um, 
pulls like it should. Uh, does everything the way it's supposed to. So we went over this entire vehicle, and the only thing that I can find in the whole thing is a little tiny bulb in the dash for the uh, left turn signal indicator doesn't uh, doesn't function. Other than that, everything else is the way it should be. This is a nice red scraper. This is as nice a one as you'll ever, ever find. Uh, great color combination, uh, great auction car, with all the documentation, including a factory build sheet for it also. It doesn't get any better than that. Hi, you're at Daytona Beach. It's, uh, I don't know what it is, about 45 degrees right now. It feels great to me. I like it. it. feels like fall in Pennsylvania. Fantastic. But we are underneath one of the nicest original 69 Roadrunners that you will ever find. Uh, this car has so much originality to it, it's unreal. Uh, original drum brakes in the front, which are just as good as most people's uh, discs. They're 11 by 3s in the front, 11 by 2 and a half in the back. Heavy duty sway bar. Uh, power steering in this particular vehicle. It has the uh, conventional, uh, uh, it's not a gear reduction starter, it's just a Mopar starter on it. This is a numbers correct engine and transmission for this car. Not a restamp, it's a real deal. This is the car, this is the engine that this car was uh, born with. Still has its original uh, cooling lines from the transmission up to the radiator, which is an upgraded aluminum radiator in this particular car. Again, heavy duty sway bar in the front, torsion bar suspension, uh, newer shocks in the front of it. The um, splash guard still intact. Most of the guys removed these, but this one is still intact. Subframes in this car are absolutely beautiful. No one's made any attempt to jack it up on the uh, skirts off the uh, fender wells. Uh, the um, subframes themselves have the original uh, splatter undercoating. Sound deadener actually is what uh, Chrysler called it from the factory. Uh, great originality to this car. The floor pans are the original pans. They have not been replaced. They haven't been jacked up on or distorted in any way that I can see. Um, great original condition. Cast iron manifolds go on to uh, about two and an eighth inch uh, primary pipes, which uh, would have been correct for this uh, car for this era Roadrunner. No leaks on the transmission itself. A little tiny drip right there. I think it's from changing oil. I think that's what that one was from. I don't see anything else dripping on the uh, pan rails or anything. Everything looks really uh, nice and dry up here. Tail shaft, no leaks whatsoever on it. New universal joint on it. Again, the uh, floor pans and the substructure of this car are absolutely as they were when they left the factory in 1969. Uh, this is a great original um, numbers matching 69 Roadrunner. We're halfway through it. I really can't uh, point out anything at all to you uh, that's negative. Everything on this car uh, shows originality. Uh, there's no leaks around the uh, tail shaft, no leaks around the uh, speedometer housing or the uh, input shaft for the uh, transmission selector or the reverse gear uh, uh, switch, which is usually a leaking problem. This one has none. Let's go to second half, see what we can show you there. Okay, second half of our Roadrunner, Flowmaster Mufflers. That is an original, but they sure add a nice sound to this vehicle, you know, a nice flow, a nice sound to it. Although Chrysler's original equipment mufflers that they released with these cars were very good flowing mufflers uh, in their own right. Uh, parking brake, still original and uh, functional. Um, Brake line still original. We still have the original uh, wire wrap around them. Fuel line the same way. It's the original fuel line that's undisrupted. You can see where the uh, floor pans transition onto the rocker panels. None of that's been distorted or jacked up on through the years. It's all original. The original pinch weld still intact. Your torque boxes for the uh, rear springs. Um, again, I, I don't know how. Usually these things are all marked up one way or another from people jacking them up through the years. This one is not. Um, I really can't see anything on the subframes up there. There's absolutely nothing on this one or on the torque box. And uh, eh, there's one little jack mark right here. There's one little tiny, tiny nick of a jack mark here. That's it. Nothing on the uh, torque box on the uh, uh, spring hanger though. Absolutely none. Um, Heavy duty drive shaft, heavy duty uh, Mopar rear end, eight and three quarter inch. That would be a 489 casting on it. 
Um, the leaf springs have a nice arch to them yet. The floor pans in the back are the original floor pans. The subframes where they uh, transition up over the rear axle are just as fresh and clean as they were in 1969 when this car was released and they still have the original splatter undercoating sound dead or whatever you want to call it on them. Uh, the drop downs in the quarters are the original quarters and the original drop downs and they are just as sweet and clean as you'd ever want to see. Original gas tank, uh, two and eighth inch pipes out, transition into the uh, correct style oval um, stainless uh, muffler tips uh, or exhaust tips the way they came. New shocks in the rear, uh, updated shocks in the uh, rear of this vehicle. Uh, again, the back, uh, the back of this car is just as clean as the front. I don't see anything at all. Uh, the trunk pans, the uh, floor pans, everything is 1969. There's nothing that I can see has been replaced or uh, uh, worked in any way. The rear spring hangers, where they are in their purchase, are just as clean and nice as can be. The uh, bumper piece that transitions from one side of the subframe to the other uh, that the bumper attaches to in the back is uh, unpulled. No one's hooked anything onto it uh, uh, through the years to uh, move the vehicle around. Uh, there's absolutely nothing on this vehicle that does not have originality. It's a 69 Roadrunner, uh, and it is a numbers correct. Engine transmission, core support, dashboard still original, fender tag. This is an original 69 Roadrunner in a great color combination. It's here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach where it's nice and chilly, and if it was a little bit chillier, we'll get some snow down here. I'd feel right at home.